We're here in this boxing gym to thank our wonderful, wonderful donors, October Kitchens and Always Best Care, and to work with them and Bare Bones Boxing to bring our communities the wonderful Rock Steady Boxing program. Rock Steady Boxing is, is a program that's based on the training that boxers do. Again, it's proven and they found that uh, people with mobility issues, especially Parkinson's, benefit from all the different movements, motions, and punching actions that boxers use. Coming here is important as breathing. Uh, I've got a motto that if it is to be, it is up to me. And the only one that can fight this fight is me. And so if I don't show up, I'm not fighting. And this is all about fighting, fighting Parkinson's. Parkinson's disease affects over a million adults in America, and the only thing that's proven to slow the progression of the disease is exercise. October Kitchen teamed up with Always Best Care last year to start our Seniors Only Senior Prom. It's an annual event that is a, a charitable event to raise money for local charities. The Senior Prom has been a wonderful community event that we hold at the East Catholic High School and we've had hundreds of people show up to each and every event. All of our seniors, you know, over 60, come out and dance and we get have a nice dinner and raffles and prizes and it's a real give back to the community and a win-win. They get a great night out, we get to uh, treat, our, treat our folks and our, our supporters and give back to the community and raise money for charity. Well, we're with Always Best Care Senior Services and we provide in-home care for seniors and, and we partnered up with October Kitchen out of Manchester in East Catholic High School and together we put on a senior senior prom. So we invited 250 seniors to come to the prom to dance, have dinner, enter some raffles and to donate to a good cause. I think the most important thing is it's about celebrating seniors. You know, so often when seniors were younger, they gave so much to our communities that we live in. And, you know, as they age in place, some of the younger generation forgets about that, that population of uh, people in their community. So it's a nice way to celebrate them in a day and give back to them for all that they've created and paved the road for the rest of us. I've been a board member of the American Parkinson's Disease Association Connecticut chapter for three years. When we started, there were five support groups in the state. Last year, we opened number 26. We know the numbers are growing nationally and they're growing here in Connecticut. The national office expects that we have 6,000 or so people in Connecticut who have Parkinson's disease. We know that number is underrepresented, that there are more and more people that we haven't even reached yet. We also see that in the wonderful senior prom. Last year, it was half the size of what it was this year. As a board member, we love seeing the awareness grow. We love seeing that people are connecting to the resources in our communities to help them not be alone, to face the burden until we find a cure.